Rachel and this is my channel. If you are new, welcome. Today we're going to dive in with some hairstyles. I recently got a haircut. My hair lengths were probably about to here straight. Um, I have wavy hair. I wouldn't say it's super curly, but it's there's a lot of volume and wave to it after I wash it. And I decided to cut it to a bob. This is the shortest I've ever had it. It's probably right here. And I'm going to show you some little hairstyles I have learned and I do on my hair ever since I've gotten a bob cut. So right now my hair is just in a messy bun. Um, I have like four clips in the back because I have such little pieces that they don't stay up. But I'm going to take it down and show you how short it is. This is my natural hair. I washed it last night with Olplex uh, shampoo and conditioner and I, and I put number six and seven before going to bed. I sleep with my head wet. I don't know, it's just something I've always done. It kind of soothes me, so I just like sleeping with wet. I should dry it before bed, but I'm, I don't dry it before bed because my hair gets a little more oilier when I do that, so I just sleep with it wet. I'm going to take it out now to show you what my hair length looks like. And this is my natural hair, so guys, don't judge. So this is my natural hair. It's like very poofy. There's like curls and waves and but this is the length of it it barely it doesn't even touch my shoulders um i love it i this is my first time having like a real bob cut and i didn't know how i would like it my hairdresser was like just do it so i did and i love it and so this is the natural look of it <laughs> this is what i usually wake up to every morning um, if I wash my hair, I usually wash it twice a week. So Monday morning and Friday morning, this is what it looks like. It's actually a little more calm because I've had that button for a couple hours now. Usually it's much more crazier, but no, yeah, this is it. I'm going to put some curls in it. I'm just going to put them in really quick just to give it a little style before I start showing you the short hairstyles that I do. So I just put some curls in my hair just for the purpose of this video. For some of the styles half up, half down. I want it to look a little nicer than my natural hair that's poofy and crazy. Let's get started. I'm going to show you some hairstyles that I do. The first one I'm going to show you, I call them lower space buns, but basically this is what I do with my hair. So I call these little mini lower space buns. So I put them on the bottom part of my hair. Look, one piece is already sticking out. <laughs> I forgot it. But I put them on the bottom part of my head and I always spread them out, make them loose. Even if a piece pops out, I kind of like the messy look. If you don't, just tuck it into the hair tie. Also, that's what I did to this side. I always bring pieces forward. That's just me. You could bring some from the top down. I always bring ones in front of my ears. But yeah, I do this. I also could throw a headband in it with it or on top. I have one to show you and just throw it right there. I do this hairstyle a lot, especially for work because I am a nanny and my, the kids don't care what my hair looks like. So I just throw these little mini buns in and I just throw a headband in and I'm ready. I like having hair out of my face, especially when I'm dealing with a three-year-old and a one-year-old. So the next hairstyle I will be doing is two braids on top of my head. So I'm gonna show you what that means and Stay tuned. So yeah, I'm gonna start off with, I'm going to section off my hair into two sections like this, and then that's where the braids are gonna go up top. So um, I usually do two types of braids, either French braids, or I call it an inside out braid, or I think people call it a reverse braid. Um, I'm going to do an uh, inside out braid right now to show you what I usually do. Um, it all just depends what I feel for that day.
so I do this hairstyle a lot. It's just two braids back. I could either leave them hanging, which I don't mind, or I could make it into one, or just put the hair tie here and not have the braids, and then have it just coming down. Um, I also like to do one braid back into the same way, and I'll show you that next, but I like this one a lot. I, since I curled my hair, I probably would add a few more curls just right here. But yeah, this hairstyle is really fun. So the next one I'll be doing is one braid into a bun. So after I braid it, what I do is I get some pieces on the side. I get this whole section right here and put it all in like a little pony. You can do it in a pony too. Uh, sometimes I do that, but usually I do a bun. I'm really into buns lately. So and I just get a little hair tie and twist it. But here's an inside out braid. I also do French braids on this one into a little bun. You could do a messy bun if you have longer hair again. I cut mine off. Bun on top. I call this like the Emperor's New Groove Cusco's hairstyle bun. But yeah, I do this one a lot too. Next one I'm going to do is a twist braid on my head. So I'm gonna show you what that means. So what I'm gonna do is split my hair into two and twist. Once I twist, I'm going to grab this piece and twist again and then twist. And always grab the lower one a little hair and twist. When I had longer hair, I used to do half up, half down, but now I just pin it back so it's off my face. I think it's super cute, especially for like fall days, casual. It looks like you put a lot of work in it, but you really didn't, you just twist it. Uh, next one I'm gonna show you is a slick back look. I like to do this with straight hair, but again, I curled it. It'll still work with curly hair, but um, I take one of my barrettes, but I use this hairstyle a lot, especially if I'm going out to a nice restaurant or out to eat or anything like that. So I'm gonna show you. So what I do is keep this all curled on one side. Um, Whatever side you prefer, I like it having on my left side. I like that side of my face better. I don't know, everybody has a side, this is my side. So what I do is I slick the other side back. It's very easy, simple, so I get my comb, you can use any type of comb, and you just start slicking it back until it's very slicked down. And then you get your little clip. I always pull a little hair in the front of my ear. I don't know, just a little bit. So I do this a lot too, here's the clip. I think I got this at No Lie, I think CVS. I thought they were really cute. There you go, and I always have this to the side, so I feel like this is a lot of fun. I wore this hairstyle for New Year's last year, and I really enjoyed it. Um, I actually just wear it a lot now, especially if that bruts are in. So we're gonna stick with the slick back work for a second. I'm going to do a slick back bun. Um, that style's in right now, and I do that a lot. So what I do is get a comb and start brushing my hair. Until it's all in my hand. I'm going to use a scrunchie for this one. I love scrunchies. Um, I get the comb again and start slicking it back more. And I usually use a hairspray, but I'm not going to do it for right now. I usually do hairspray or um, some kind of styling gel, to slick it down. And then again, I always bring pieces up. Okay. Um, that's just who I am. And I like bring these pieces. You can recurl them. You can have them straight. So I do this hairstyle a lot for work. It's super easy and it's always out of my face. Um, here it is. Goes back, little pieces. I like it a lot. This look is in now, I feel. People have been wearing it out. People have been wearing casual. Um, I like it a lot. So the last hairstyle I'm going to do is with a bandana. 
I usually do it for casual looks. I don't usually do it going out. I know bandanas are in right now with the pretty scarf ones and I don't know how to do those yet. Right now I'm gonna show you my bandana one. So this bandana is probably older than me. I don't know, it was my mom's. <laughs> I stole it when I was in high school and I never gave it back. And it's really like worn, so it's not tight or stiff. Like I, it's very loose. And that's what I think I like a lot about this headband. What I'm gonna do is I fold it into a triangle like this. And then you basically just roll it up. I usually place it on a bed or a table while rolling it to make it a little tighter, but you're rolling it and rolling it basically like that. So I'm gonna do it real quick. So it's just like this. And I'm going to put it underneath my, you wanna make sure all of your hair is above it. And then I basically go like this and tie it first here. I do two knots. And you want to put it too tight because you still have to move it on your head. For this style, I like putting a little more up. I don't know why. Especially with the headband, I like bringing a little more pieces up than usual. And yeah, you fix a little bow. And I like doing this one a lot, especially in the summertime. I think it's really fun and you could do a lot with it. So that's basically part one of my short hairstyles. Uh, later on in a couple of weeks, I'm going to do part two because so many hairstyles I like to do. If you have any questions, comments, or anything, please put them down below. I read everything and I like to answer everybody. Also, if you like to like and subscribe to my channel, that'll be perfect. Thank you so much for joining me on 24 and Unsure. I'll see you all next week. Bye guys.